Look, if you ever try to start an online business or even just dip your toes in, you know the drill. How about waste scrolling through endless products listing? That's why I went crazy when I found Axio, the world first AI powered sourcing engine in the world. It uses Alibaba.com powerful B2B knowledge to cut through the noise with smart, easy to use searches that connects you more than 1.5 million verified suppliers and 400 million high quality products in seconds. Since no more guessing, just spot and suggestion based on your vision, along with instant quotes and interesting insight that makes scaling seem easy. So stay with me because I'm going to show you how my crazy beauty blocks locker idea went from a pipe dream to a reality that is ready to launch and how it can do the same for you. So I spent the weekend going over the release notes and testing a few queries myself. It was not easy to pick just 5 features that stood out. There are gems for everything from tariff headaches to review deep dives but I focus on the one that scream latest and greatest because they are directly related to the agent mode evolution. Also from August which was supercharged with new AI tweaks like better multi models inputs and that huge data pool from over a billion listings. Reading the features did not give me the magic moment, they always sound good on paper. I said it out loud like I was talking to a friend, I want a refill locker for beauty products that looks like bamboo and has earthy colors that go with sustainability branding. I did usually spend hours mood broadening that sentence into existence with Canva mockups trying to picture how it would look in a co-working space or a booth at a boutique event. But Axio just made it right away, made ideas about how to live such suggested real materials from suppliers that are still in business. It was not just a fantasy about how things log. These pixels were connected to real sourcing parts and at that point the thought changed from I will build this one day to oh wait this could be real by next month. I really got excited and pushed it more. I asked for a version with cooling vents so that the makeup would not melt while it was being sipped. It changed. I tried a softer tone that was more big with bamboo grain detail. Showed me a version that honestly looks like something from the launch of an eco-friendly startup that was featured in work. And that's when I realized this was not a place to come up with a new idea, strong ideas into real possibilities backend by suppliers. And that's very different from just imagination tools like mood boards, it's broad imagination with manufacturing setting. The next step was the supplier stage which is where the fun ends and the spreadsheet start for more solo creators. I typed so me verified low MFU supplier who fits this eco-friendly look, I stay away from generic listing and focus on real manufacturers. And actually did not just show a wall of blue links and product thumbnails, it filters suppliers like a casting director chooses actor for a role. It showed me export reliability scores such as this one has a 98% on time record. This other one costs us less but it takes of course longer to get. One supplier in Vietnam already works with small eco-friendly brands. The crazy part was not the data itself. Alibaba.com already has a lot of smart backend system. An actual narrative interpretation of it fit with how a creator thinks. Not so much here are the numbers but more like here is a vibe and an operational match. I changed my mind about my first product idea and tried out on a different random idea I have saved. A small AR guided eco tour device like glasses that tourists can wear to find their way through natural trails without a guide. Normally I would scare off right away if I had to find something that technical but I just thought of it as a creative prompt. What if I wanted lightweight AR audio glasses for eco tour events that were durable and maybe come with a charging dock. And Axio did not just find suppliers, it also pulled information like battery extensions are often requested by past buyers in this category. Would you like me to put factories that can do that at top of the list. I sat there and thought this is how you turn a month of research into an afternoon. The real test for me was outreach which I hate. It's like applying for suppliers instead of suppliers pitching to you. You have to write templates, copying specifications, keep track of who responded and worry about whether you sound too desperate or too vague. But Axio changed that when I was done by picking my top choices it just said ready to send out a lot of RFQs and with just one click professional outreach messages were sent with my specifications built in so well that it felt like I had a sourcing assistant. It even sent me short summaries of what suppliers said like supplier I can do bamboo but wants 500 MOQ. Supplier B suggested a hybrid composite option that cost us less. Do you want me to respond with a lower MOQ? That conversion made me laugh because I realized I was no longer in charge of sourcing. I was in charge of it. Then there was the whole nightmare with tariffs and compliance. This is where I need to be clear. Actually won't automatically take care of your tariff for you. You ask it that's better because it keeps you uniform without making you feel too much. So I wrote hey what should I be careful of I send reliable ports from China to the Europe. Instead of walk warnings it gave me Jack's HS code categories estimated duty percentage based on current trade extensions and even options like routing through different ports and asking suppliers about pre-certification. It talk about gods and sustainability tags as a way to make sure that the brand story matches the marketing promise. Most people don't think about this until it's too late and they have inventory that is not 
not match the promise. And I used the same method for a third situation, a pop-up merchandise kit for a made-up event in New York. Just fun things like coffee mugs, staff shirts, and tote bags that show off the brand personality. That would usually be a crazy prestige festival full of suppliers, designer changes, shipping risk, and minimum orders. But with Axio, I just said I want tote bags that are made in an ethical way, have a low minimum order quantity, and be ready for delivery before October 26. It would be great if the suppliers have a good record of exporting to the US. The answer has this almost human tone. Here are three suppliers that meet your needs. The first one is faster but it costs us a little more. Would you like me to write a RFQ for everyone? And I just hit yes. That was all there was. It used to take a week of clicking back and forth to do but now it only takes a few sips of coffee. At that point, I know something more was not going on. Axio was not just telling me what to do. It was a breaking down that emotional barrier that stops creators from going from idea to action. You know that time when you keep saying I will start when I done as little more research and that research phase slowly become who you are. This turn it's upside down. The feeling went from I'm not ready yet to wait this is closer than I thought. And the last push came when I look at the prices. I had just saved myself a month of headaches, mental fatigue and late night tap suffering that I thought was productive for the price of 3 cups of coffee. That price to time ratio made it an easy choice. That's the real difference between tools that look good on paper and tools that really change how you act. If you have an idea in your notes app that is not cute ready yet and is waiting for someday, I say to run it through Axie on Alibaba.com just once. Say it like a casual suggestion, let it show you what you can do. And when you see a generated version of your idea with real supplier spot where something changes, it's not just a thought anymore, it's a plan. And it's much harder to ignore blueprint than it is to ignore dreams. So link in the description, don't forget to try it out Axio and that's it for today. If you have any questions and queries related to Axio and related to this video, then don't forget to comment down below. And before going, hit that press subscribe button and that like button too. And if you want to learn more about AI tools and e-commerce tools like this, then definitely watch this video.